Hi traders, thanks for joining me. Uh, my name is Mike Hamilton and if you get to the situation where the market's open and you get a massive move like the one we had here on this 15 minute Dow, relax. No need to be completely out of the picture. What I suggest you do is fib it. Just stick the fibs on it because this will retrace. There's the whole move. Took, it was all over in 45 minutes, but then at this period here, we hit 9.05, 9.10, which was 50%. The FIBS has picked off a lot of resistance area from these lows, these lows here. Picks it off, just alarm it, or set, even set an order to, to short it. And then you get uh, a push down to 17,750. And here we are just in the last 20 minutes of the trading day. Just seeing that uh, push back up. There's probably a lot of uh, short covering. All right, so my message to you is, you know, the FIBs unlock the code of trading. So if you get a big move, stand back, let the market play out, and then fib it and then find the levels okay and we talked about uh, um, a method of tracking how moves like this could, can kick off so we'll do that in the room more often uh, as a combination of fibbing a range and um, a couple of other elements to do with uh, this particular market all right so in the meantime let's have a look at the daily chart so we had some jobs this week, and um, so we're sitting in, the, in this really awful tight range. Uh, I would I just keep shorting the highs because this is a distribution pattern. And at some stage, we're likely to get a really good breakdown. I think the way this is happening, I guess all the time we're sitting on this support on this trend line. We could recover, but it's just the time of year. This is typically, this is typical of what can happen this time of year. Um, you know, we're approaching the summer, summer doldrums. We've seen um, you know some decent moves from the autumn through the winter and in the early part of the year, and now we're seeing a lot of good stocks uh, are under uh, a lot of profit taking. Uh, it's just this normal cycle, typical cycle. So you know, this is not a great time to be looking for stocks. At least not a large part of your portfolio. Should I would suggest you should be taking profits on some good stocks as well, and following the crowd. We'll look at the commodity commodity charts first. This is gold um, again, like a little bit like the Dow's, stuck in this range. But I'm expecting this to. We've tested the 200 EMA, failed. We've tested the 55 EMA, broken through once in late April, and then spent most of the time under this 55 EMA and under the 50% FIBS. So it looks as if this is a candidate for rolling over. However, I would change that view if we close above 1200 and then start to uh, build on that but in the meantime it, it's just range bound and looking weak on the gold let's look at oil whoops sorry about that oil closed pretty flat for the day so we pushed up into the 200 ma and these these moving averages the 55 and the 200 on the daily are very good measures of uh, price action so you know they, they, they're great guidelines they're, they're not real lines in the sand but they are very very good guidelines just consider them uh, like guide ropes you know, guiding you around uh, a museum or um, something of, of that kind okay so we've come up to the guide rope the 200 EMA guide rope and at the moment sold yeah I think we could um, see a pullback to at least 60 the big round number 60 before coming up and testing 
the 65 and possibly um, 70. I mean, my sort of average for this is if you look at the bigger picture. The mean for me is somewhere around the 67, 75 buck mark. So it stands to reason that we could easily test 67, 70 up here if we can break through this resistance line that I've got marked up here at 64, just under 64. But in the meantime, I think we do need to um, pull back. We could even do a full pullback to 55. But um, certainly I would look to see at least 60. Let's have a look at this DAX, because this DAX has been a fascinating chart. Um, and you can see a bit of a stopping bar on this main FIB level. So we had quite a nice push back off, the, off that FIB level, which gave us some, some good trades. Um, it's a lower close. I still think we could, all the time we're, we're red, just keep shorting any highs. So if we see 400 again tomorrow, that could just enable us to roll over. But in the meantime, just bear in mind that um, you, you are trading with an, in, uh, an instrument that is low RSI and very low stochastic. Okay, so yeah, we got very, very tired up here. This is a natural pullback, couple, three waves down so far. Let's see, is the third wave over? Possibly not. The 50% is begging here, 11,000, and this 50% of the 200 MA is down here. All the time you're stuck between 55 and 200, you stand the chance of coming down to test that. It does tend to get a little choppier when you are between those moving averages. All right, so Forex. Pound Yen, uh, lovely move to the upside. Lovely move off of this support. Um, yeah, big trend upside. So far, we've just been resting here. Obviously, we've got the UK election uh, tomorrow. And so, be, be very, very careful with this. Um, let's see, just because we've got an election, I mean, say this is going to sell. But um, yeah, we are building on this support. We are literally at the Sunday open level here, and uh, it's a question of whether we can push higher or not. Okay, let me take this off here, and let's just see what we can do. T to trade that, I mean, but the fact that we are meandering on support but not doing much means that that could pretty much go either way at this stage. Couple of days of higher closes, but it's not great. Pound US uh, again, nice push up. This is better, so the dollar's weaker. Uh, we could at least retest 350. So there's 100 points in that. So if we see a push down to 200, that's a potential for an entry to see if we can get into the um, to retest that high. Um, so carrying on the theme of these moving averages, look, look at this retest, this is the pound Aussie, retested that daily 200 EMA, and was sitting on that FIB level. So I would be interested in any pullback to 190.80 to see if we can break today's high and then push into some high levels. Nice chart. You can see this 191 is a key area from uh, December and we pushed up here in April or March. So nice chart. I mean, the others have reduced the rates. UK has just got to get the election out of the way and that could start to climb back to 200. So I'm very, very interested in that chart and I would love to buy a dip down to that 190.80 if I see it. Uh, this is probably one of the better charts out there. Um, so pullback at 11250 is great opportunity for the Euro US. 
to see if we can get back to 115. Okay, so I really like that chart. The, the daily 200 is begging up there at 117. It's a nice bottoming pattern, um, and I w I think that's one of the better charts out there. Once you break through resistance like that, I would just buy a pull back to that support. That's now support. Two 250 is support now. Okay, so that's what I'm interested in at the moment. I do hope that helps. If you would like to join us in the trading room, then do so. Uh, send me a link and send me an email, sorry, and I will send you a link. Hope that helps. And for the, those members who are joining me in the trading room, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And let's make some more points. Thanks, guys. Bye.